So let me go ahead and explain a little thing about sin and repentance and why that whole shit is necessary. It's actually rather simple, and it comes down to the uh, permissions of the soul, of the self. Now I, God Almighty, the ruler of all creation, you can see why I would like the assurance that nothing will fiddle with my self. And by extension, everyone who has a sense of self has the most unbreakable lockbox. So unbreakable, in fact, that God Almighty himself could not do it. Yeah, you are, you cannot cease to exist unless you specifically ask me and I think it's okay. That's very rare, by the way. Anyway, oh. but the thing is, what about new souls? Well, a new soul can't exactly, like, uh, give permission to have its sin removed unless it goes through a lifetime during which it can determine not just that the world is bad, that there is a rottenness within them. You, a soul has to at least be able to identify that there is something of an unproductive nature within them. I, that's how I would put it. People conceptualize it differently. But just like there is something within me that is not right, and as hard as I try, I can't get a handle on it. And so... Once a person has that kind of awareness, then they can make an informed consent. And it has to be informed, you know. I can't employ trickery, you know. I'm I'm pretty, God, I'm the most legit thing, you know. I, I am not a flim-flam artist, so, I mean, I, that's kind of expected. Which is kind of funny when people follow people who say they're God, and these people are just using basic flim-flamming techniques. It's fine. Anyway... Did I explain that enough? You know, I always over-explain things. Yeah, yeah, I need permission. Oh, and also sins that are newly grown, they can't just be, like, without sin. It's, it's kind of complicated. It's like you come from the fucking dirt, people. Like, that's a neutral thing. So you can't pull pos a positive or a negative out of a neutral. You have to pull both out. And so they come out together in a unit, and then you pull the one out. I mean, it's pretty basic how it works, if you think about it at all. But, I, you know, I mean, it's easy for me to say. Uh, I think about literally everything all the time. Truly, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. But the thing is, the beauty of it is, a thing that is just neutral, it's like a neutral existence. It's neutral. But once you have that first sin removed, it's like a whole nother level of shit. Like, I can't describe how much better. Because if you're in a neutral world, a positive world is just like overwhelmingly positive to you. And there you go.